What's going on everyone? PA Hunter here, back with our third edition of getting started in the Hunter Call of the Wild. Today we're going to be going over need zones. Now you may ask yourself, what exactly is a need zone? So, as an example here, we have a whitetail zone, and if you look in the need zone information, I'm sorry, I said white-tailed, white-tailed jackrabbit, uh, from 5 to 11 o'clock, this is their feed zone. So in that time frame, any animals that are associated will be in this area right here. Here we have a white-tailed deer zone, which is 12.30 to 15.30. So again, from those times, the white-tails that are associated with this zone will be in this zone. So you have three different types of need zones. You have feed, drink, and rest. Uh, normally I w hunt the drink zones mostly because they're easy to find associated with water. Uh, we are going to head down to this moose zone here. Uh, mainly because it is now 1038. So it'll be easy to get to. Uh, spot some of these ducks quick. Gonna throw a waypoint out. Just see how far away they are. All right. So while we're going over here, we're gonna talk about it. So need zones can be deleted if you have too much hunting pressure. Let's come up here on the map. This pink purple area is hunting pressure. If you kill, I believe it's four animals in an area, uh, you can delete a zone. If you kill every animal associate, associated with that zone, you can delete it as well. So if you kill, let's just say this this animal here, this, this moose here, is the only moose associated with this zone, and I kill her, this zone should disappear. Now we're going to sneak over and see if that is the only moose over here or not. But, you need to take care of your need zones. You don't want to kill a whole bunch of animals in one area and delete a need zone. As you can see here, I have a tent and a tripod set up for this whitetail zone. I have a tent and a tripod set up set for this whitetail zone. Eventually, I will put another one up for this whitetail zone, and I'll try to do that for all my whitetail zones. So that way, I could just tra fast travel to each zone and grind through whitetails. It's a good way to get money, but you have to be careful. Now, using the tripod stands, or any stand for that matter, so that includes the in-game stands, like this one over, over here. Uh, once you build them, you can use them to actually reduce hunting pressure in an area. So, like I said, I believe you could kill four animals per zone before actually deleting it. Now, with a stand, I believe it is up to 16 you kill in an area at one point in time. So it gives less hunting pressure shooting them out of a stand, whether it be a tree stand, tripod stand, duck stand, layout blind, uh, they all reduce hunting pressure. Which means you clear more, more animals out of an area without doing damage to those need zones. So we're going to come up here and see what this moose is all about. Uh, we just a female. Uh, using the M1 today. Two shots into her. And as you can see, level 1 hunting pressure. If I was to kill another animal in this area, that would get darker. A darker purple, pink.
<clears throat> and after four animals, you would end up deleting this zone because anywhere inside of that the, the pink covers this zone is what affects that zone. So it's something you have to watch out for. Keep an eye on. Alright, so we're going to fast travel to another area. We'll end up coming back to this area for whitetails uh, once it reaches 12.30. Alright, so we're coming up here on a black bear in a rest zone. So their rest zone is 7.30 to 11.30. So we have roughly 15 minutes uh, to get in close enough to hit this bear. So about 250 meters out still. Scan the area for anything else just in case. Oh, you might have to take a, a 300 meter shot on him. So if I get any closer, it's going to be behind the hill. Okay, well I hear some ducks, but I don't see said ducks. Alright, so as you can see, hunting pressure over there. Gonna run over. <coughs> Excuse me. Pick up this bear. So a coyote track coming through here. So yeah, I want to apologize. Uh, didn't have a video out last week. Um, had some issues with the house that we just bought. Had a. a leak in a roof so how to get the supplies together and put a roof on you know just <laughs> another day another day in life and yeah, luckily with uh, everything that's going on in the, the world today uh, they actually had the supplies I needed to do it so got that done now I didn't really have a chance to play uh, too much during that time period but back at it again so just keep playing Keep grinding on up to level 22. Alright, so we had a vital hit on him. Should be running too much farther. Lays here. Again, he's only six hard, but you no know, respawns. Got in that left lung, high into the left lung. I'm gonna go pay this Musa visit down here. Because she won't shut up. She might have just ran off. Not really sure. I guess if you want to walk in like that, and yeah, I'll take you. So, here's an example. You can see where the two patterns of hunting pressure overlay, and it's a darker color. Now, up here, where I was killing ducks to relieve hunting pressure, 
Ah, uh, you can see how dark pink it is. So, if I came up here and started hunting ducks, it would actually remove hunting pressure from here. Uh, I was also hunting ducks over here, as you can see. Uh, made sure to stay away from this blocktail zone. So yeah, when you do get hunting pressure, killing other animals in other areas is the way you get rid of that hunting pressure. Alright, so I decided to change the time up. Uh, fast travel to this tent here and give you guys an example of using the need zones to grind animals with. So I'm coming up here to this whitetail zone here. Before this update, I used to have a whitetail zone right here, and also a whitetail zone down here. And this zone down here had a massive amount of whitetails in it. I think it was 13 altogether had in there. And then we had the True Racks update, and when I started playing again, it, you know, don't have anything there anymore. That's a little disappointing. It's actually a really nice m looking moose. See how far away that is. I don't want to spot him. Um, because he's drinking there. So if I spot him, that whitetail zone over there will be replaced with that moose zone. So I don't want to do that. So I'm going to try and sneak down here to this tripod stand. I'll give you guys an example of, of the, how the tripod stands, or any stand in general. Uh, cut the hunting pressure down. You won't get that purple color. It'll actually be just like almost like a I'm gonna say grayed out area, but It's not gray, so uh, Not quite as dark purple I guess so Just sneak over here a wind is still all right Zeroed out for 150. Get up in this stand. I'm going to give you another example. I just had that warning call from that rabbit um really have to watch spotting the rabbits and that because they will take over zones and then you start losing out or you forget you know that this is a white-tailed deer zone because then it shows up as a jackrabbit zone and here's what i'm talking about the color difference it's not quite as dark as it was before so i'm going to come over here find that bull And piled up right there. No. Nope. I believe he ran over this way. But now that little bit of hunting pressure that he created on this white tail zone won't affect anything.
tail though. Where? All right, so she should be part of this zone. Uh, another thing is these zones. You know how far away she is. These zones have a circumference of what well, well, I'd say maybe 150 meters. Um, that they cover. So, you know, they're not going to be right exactly where the uh, marker is. Another thing to point out. Oh, well, there's our, our elk, or our moose there. So, she's there in that spot right there. Now, the next time, that doesn't mean she's going to be right there again. Uh, she could move to another location. So... That's something to keep an eye out for. Uh, so you can see here. Alright. That buck is part of this zone. How far away he is. So what I'm going to have to do is... I'm going to have a bad wind trying to sneak over there. I might fast travel back to the tent. See if I can get a shot at them. Because they're on the other side. And he's a nice gold. 244.8 moose. Right long... But yeah, they're they're back be behind that brush. Uh, so let me fa fast travel back. I can't actually spot them. Th that one there looks a little bit bigger. <laughs> Try and take both of them. Now you can see how dark pink that got. Alright, so now I have to alleviate this pressure before I come hunting here again. And that's the only reason I shot both of them, just to show what the uh, pressure looks like. I don't want to delete this zone. Alright, so we definitely dropped one of them in our tracks. Oh, actually we dropped both of them in our tracks. It's a little silver, level 1, nothing special. Uh, minor level 2, only 80 kilos. So another spot that I want to check out with you guys. Uh, is up here, I had a white tail zone up here. And again with this update, it disappeared. So we're going to go up there and check and see if it's still there um, or not you know sometimes they disappear off the maps and I can't really answer why because I, I, I don't think anyone actually knows I'm come up here spot around see if I see anything So we have whitetail tracks here. I might actually just follow them to see where they go. Specifically on Layton, I mainly just go after uh, whitetails, uh, some blacktail. So Ridge Peaks, you could now do the black bear on. So you know, even them, they're not really needed to be spotted as much. Now, granted, if you don't have the DLC for Leighton Lakes, or, I'm sorry, for Silver Ridge, then yeah, you're going to spot them. Uh, get their need zones and that. Uh, but I just basically have been trying to get Whitetail zones, because I'm still after a great one.
So yeah, part of the thing is finding need zones. The drink zones are obviously a little bit easier to find because, you know, water. You just look for water. Um, you go online and search and find a spreadsheet, a layout of what animal drinks at what time and feeds at what time and rests at what time. I just use the drink zones because they're easier. Uh, they're easier to hunt normally because you, you know where the animals are going to be. A feed zone, uh, to me, is just, you know, I, I don't know where a, a, a whitetail feed zone is going to be. Even though normally they actually end up being near water still. The example is down here. Well, that's actually not a, that's a, a rest zone. It's not a feed zone. Um, but I have found feed zones in that general area also. So it's one of those things where they sort of stay around water, but not always. I know there's a, there's a feed zone that I found here. You know, that says whitetail jackrabbit, but that actually is a whitetail deer zone. Uh, it was my mistake, and I accidentally picked up a jackrabbit when I was down there. So again, that goes into the whole thing of you can't just spot everything that you see, because then you run into the situation where you start overlaying your zones. Now, there's still white whitetail there, don't get me wrong. But it's just the fact that when you look at it, you're going to say, oh, that's a jackrabbit zone. And, you know, that's something that I, I don't remember every need zone of well, what it was or what it is, so... Because I have a horrible memory. So I'm not seeing any whitetail. I'm just trying to find some more of their zones up here because I used to have a lot more in this area. But I, I don't know. That was my old map. On this new map, I, it seems like I don't have them where I used to. And especially after this update, it seems like they disappeared out of certain areas. So we're going to go over here where I know... I have an actual zone and see what we could do over here. Obviously, a ton of ducks over here, too. Let's see, put a marker. So there's no hunting pressure over here. Let's see what we have over here. So level one. So level one. Tons of ducks up here. So if you ever want a good duck spot up here in Calburn. Where's the edge of the map? So I guess what I'm going to do is I'm going to try and take both of them out. Zero for 150 meters. Take the one first. And the little one. Alright, small one's down. I didn't see any other except for that doe run. So now you can see the hunting pressure is still just light purple. I guess that's what you want to call it, light purple. In color. <clears throat> now the only bad side to this spot is that you have to run all the way around to get them. Come all the way down across here. And next we're going to head down here to another whitetail zone that we have down there. after I pick these guys up. Alright, so here we are coming up on these two white tails, uh, laying right next to each other. So we have our level one. And our level... other level one. I thought that was... ah, that's right. There's a level one 80-85 kilo. Or 
All right, so we're gonna fast travel down to here. And I'm gonna show you guys that even though I'm not using a tripod stand, I'm gonna be using a duck blind stand. As long as you walk in and the door closes, it still counts as a stand. So we have two buck here. Unfortunately, that one is over the side of the hill. Oh, crouch down. <clears throat> As you can see, you get in here, and that door closes off. So now it counts as a stand. I'm just going to quickly put my deer bleat. See if I can't see what else is over there with them. There's yeah, they might be too far away for the bleat. Try it again. Got the dough moving. Got one buck moving. Let's see. He's actually a smaller buck. I'm probably just gonna take this one. Oh, that's one thing I did uh, level up. And uh, I got the uh, spotting through the scope. Your rifle scope or aiming down sight. So that's actually really nice to have. drop both of them in their trucks and again as you can see this actually does count as a stand so if you have a duck hunting setup and you see some white tail in it you can just always jump in that stand to alleviate the uh, pressure so that way you don't accidentally delete any zones of that So let's run over here and pick these guys up really quick. Let's see. Let's see where else we could go. I might try to go to Mushroom Lake and see if there are any whitetail there. Uh, by Mushroom Lake, I mean this lake right here. I had a stand set up over there. Oh, I do still do for whitetail. Um, and this update, I do not have whitetail over there. Uh, again, that zone disappeared. So, not really sure what happened there. But grab these two really quick. And we're going to do a quick fast travel over there and see what we have. That's not a black tail calling. I see that this tent is actually set up on a zone. I wonder if it's actually set up on a... Uh, this is a black tail feed zone. I'll probably end up having to move that tent. But we're going to run over here and see if we see any white tail over here. If not, I'll uh, probably change this area up. I'll take that stand down. Because I normally only ever come over here for the white tail. And, you know, if you guys are having any issues with the need zones after this update, you know, let me know. Uh, leave a comment about it. Because I've checked around this lake quite a bit, and I just, I still don't see the whitetail, and they used to be here. You know, I used to have a couple buck here, and 
they always used to be up on this hillside here. Now, a couple times I've seen them down here, but for the most part, I've always seen them up here, and I no longer see them, so I don't know. Uh, I, I don't know what's changed. If that was on purpose, did they move them out of this area? Because I'm going to assume that the devs have control over where they spawn at or have need zones at. Um, yeah, not really sure. That's where I just see movement over there. Nope, just my imagination, probably. So, I think this is going to be our last spot. We're going to fast travel down here. This is one of the most recent ones that I found. Uh, actually looking for that herd of 13 that I lost. And I believe this might be the same herd, but I'm not 100% sure about it. Um, they look very much similar to what I had. Uh, but, again, not 100% sure that it's the same one. So we're just going to sneak over here. As long as they're not right in this area. Yeah, they're normally over here. Our wind is alright. I'm going to sneak over and see what we have over here. I think earlier today I had shot two buck out of this herd already, so I don't know if they'll have respawned yet or not. But we're going to find out. some rabbits over here as well. A lot of rabbits, actually. Yeah, I don't mind shooting the rabbits. They help alleviate hunting pressure in other areas. But you have to watch spotting them. Because, you know, you spot them over here, and they they really shouldn't take over this, this zone. But, again, I, I will set up a tripod stand and then look at it and go, oh, well, that's a jackrabbit zone, and not hunt there, forgetting that it's actually a white-tailed deer zone. Because I believe both animals still do spawn there. It's not, you know, it's it's does, they don't overtake them from my what I've seen playing the game. So yeah, here we have, well, there's one buck at least. here. So we have a uh, level 2, 70 to 85. Same thing. Alright. So I'm going to take this bigger one down. Let's see how far away that is. 159 yards. Meters. I'm going to pick his head up. heart shot. Check out and see if anything else runs. Try to take that black bear down too. Why not? Add a bonus. Just gonna run over here and see what we have. I know I dropped that white tail inch tracks. Let's see if I actually killed that black bear or not. Again, this is another one of those uh, areas where you have to run all the way around the water to get to them. But it's not a bad spot. It's nice and open. You get to see them. Even if they move off to the right of the zone a little bit, you can still see them through the trees. Alright, that bear did go down. Another thing, if you don't know this, if you don't spot an animal and you have the hunting pressure, so you have this little tab and this little tab, you just center them, and this is where you shot the animal. It's not where the animal died, it's where you shot the animal. So, it's helpful if you ever uh, forget to spot an animal. So let's see here. It says we had five of them in that zone. I 
Alright, so like with this block there, I'm going to center it. Put a waypoint. No, I know these are, are its tracks up here, but it helps many times to find them. to 75 percent blood there oh, and it lays right here there's only a female anyway but it's gonna be the end of this video i want to thank everyone for coming out again and please like comment and subscribe and i will see you again in the next one take care guys stay safe